Hi everyone, I've got quite interesting issue with my Lenovo laptop. This is my Lenovo laptop running Windows 10. Uh, what it's doing right now, every time I'm starting it, it goes with communicate, preparing automatic repair and it stays like that for a while. After which I've got this blue screen, that's blue, uh, this blue screen of death, so it tells uh, that my PC couldn't start properly, unexpected problem, and now I can't boot my Windows 10. So in order to solve it, I've plugged in my external optical drive, and I've got my Windows 10 uh, install DVD over here. So I'll just put that into my optical drive. And I'll try to recover my laptop from it. So in order to do so, I'm going enter. And now I'll tell it to start from a a temporary startup device. I'll choose my USB, which is optical drive, and now and a key to start the win Windows recovery tool. So now we've got our Windows setup over here, and it's asking us for um, for our localization. So I'll go with repair your computer. And now troubleshoot. And let's see what we've got here. We can do system image recovery. That there is a startup repair um, and system restore. So I'll start from the least invasive, which is a startup repair, and see if that will work. So we've got some diagnos diagnosing tool uh, running right now. It's trying to figure out what will happen. Right, so this, haven't done anything. Okay, advanced options. Now, troubleshoot again, system restore. If I'll click on system image recovery, it's not working either. Okay. What's that? UEFI There's nothing to do I'm wondering why that doesn't work Right, so I'll just turn off my PC now Let's try to do it in the old school way So. I'll just start my laptop Right, let's go with F8 startup settings. 
<laughs> right. So at this point, it looks that uh, basically the system is gone. So uh, there isn't much I can do about it. So there's actually there's one thing I can do about it. So that will do. I'll just take the um, Windows installation DVD out. Now I'll get my here in Civil City in. And I'll restart the laptop to uh, boot from the here in Civil City. Here we've got a couple of options, so I'll just go and load my mini Windows XP. Um, you can download here as a post CD from the internet. Uh, I'll just uh, put a link uh, to it in the description. Like if you search for it. It's available for free. It's like a set of diagnostic tools um, that can help you to uh, see what's wrong with your P uh, with your with your PC. So now I'll go to here and suppose see the menu and over here inside programs we've got a password keys and we are going product keys and product key which is Windows Key Viewer. <clears throat> Over here, we have to go and select the source. So we want to, yeah, we want to load all the keys from, from any hard drives loaded into this laptop. Now I'll click OK. And at this point, it just analyzed my uh, local installation on internal hard drive in this laptop. And I have found the uh, product key. So I can just go and copy that. And I'll use it for my um, fresh installation of Windows. And at the same time, as uh, so we've got an access to the um, file system, because we can go to my computer and inside here, we can see our local disk. That's a local disk from my from my laptop. So by using that mini version of Windows XP, I can copy all the personal files from my hard drive. I can just plug in the external hard drive, copy all the personal files, everything that I would like to backup. So I've got a backup of all was there. And at the same time, I'm not losing my Windows license because I've just uh, opened that little program, which took the license key and now I can just download the Windows, install it on this laptop and put the Windows key on it. There's an other video that I've made with how to install Windows 10. So there will be a link in the description. So you can basically go and follow it and that will tell you how to install Windows 10 on it. 
and then just uh, simply click right click on my computer and there's a windows key over there and you can just uh, change the key to the key from from the installation that we've just seen right so that will be it as for this laptop and issues i've got with it i'll just uh, reinstall windows on it uh, put the key in and all my personal files back again and it will work so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one